Hello everyone, I'm Leandro and I'm product manager for Industrial High Vision. Today I'm going to show you the zero touch device replacement feature that comes in the new upcoming release 8.4. This feature supports the easy device replacement for class key and iOS suites. Then we collect configuration from the device, save to TFTP server and by using DHCP server per port on all capable suites you can replace a device easily and automatically. Let's take a look. Let's go to option preference in industrial high vision under load save option you can see here TFTP server address. You need to configure here your IP address. In my case it's my own computer. And you see here the load save for zero touch device replacement address need, needs to be configured properly as well. Then we go and click OK. We come back to the device, select the, both ones I have here, right click and mode config. We go to the mode config screen. You can see advanced zero touch device replacement option we have two options here then i'm going to show i'm going to show you each one first save config to tftp server i have a tftp server here running in my computer i'm going to show you how it works and when the configuration files are saved then just click right and take few seconds and you'll see the configurations saved over here. See configuration files are coming, they are saved and the step is done. Then let's take a look on the second option. You just click out save config to TFTP server and you confirm by selecting overwrite existing out save settings and then click on right. But before that, let's take a look on the device. I have two devices here, the two web interfaces, and you can see here an option under load save option. You can see backup config on a remote server when saving. You see the configuration is off and the address is empty. Let's get back to industrial high vision and click on right. It's done and then when we reload we can see here the configuration the backup config on our remote server when saving configuration is on and the correct IP address of TFP, TFTP server is put here okay then let's take a look on the other device as well just reload and everything is working fine Again, let's back to boot config configuration and you see now the third option, configure DHCP server. Let's get back to the device and under advanced DHCP server, you have the option, you see global, the configuration is off. You can reload to make sure, actually you can just put off, you can reload and also you can do the same right here. Yes, but let's set off just to make sure the pooling table is off. And then getting back to mode config, you just click right. And then you can come back here and reload. The configuration is set on. The pooling table, you can reload as well. You can see to the device, it ends dot. 127 you can see the neighborhood 200 by using by accessing this device over the ports 11 and 12 okay as we can see here this device here can get connection with this device by using ports 11 and 12 okay 
So let's simulate then a replacement. I'm going to show you a replacement by resetting this device here to the factory defaults and then let's see how it works. Let's take a look on this device here. I'm going to make sure the configuration is saved. Let's remember when we save the configuration to the device, we will also save the configuration to the TFTP server as our previous configuration. Just in case, let's make sure. Coming back here, you see the device is on, both ports are connected, and let's pick the option back to factor. Do you want to reset your device to factor default? Yes. And then operation finish it. When you come back to industrial high vision, we are going to see the ports are down. The device will be unreachable soon. And once the device is rebooting, the, this device will get back the previous configuration as per our configuration. Let's wait kind of a few seconds. And also, let's take a look at the pink command and then we can easily see when the device is back. Let's ping this device. Wait a few Now we see the ports are up again. We can reach back the device. And everything is working. Okay, let's take a look. It's coming back. Okay. It's back and let's take a look on the device configuration. Let's refresh to make sure. Let's access back this device. You see the configuration is back on the address 127. I can already see that. Let's take a look inside and then you can see the system name this, this name I put and then you can see also the load safe configuration is on the backup config option under advanced DHCP server global is also on everything is as per the previous configuration okay that's it. Thanks so much. In case of any doubts, please let us know. See you. Bye-bye.